Okay, so this is a thing we have not done for a very long time. So let's do this again. Um, okay, second. Nomia is a pretty nice car, not something I'd expect a high school teacher to drive. I wonder what kind of salary is in our Yamaku. The canvases are stuffed into the trunk, where they just barely fit. At the teacher's over-enthusiastic prompting, I get in the car along with them. Rin answers by questioning Sarah by confirming nod and a nonchalant shrug. Oh, babe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ice JJ Fish. Hello, PSS. You know, it's been a while, you know. Twitch, Twitch getting hacked and wasn't exact. Twitch getting hacked didn't exactly make things better, but... At least we're back. <laughs> I guess I've become sort of an assistance for her now. Nomi doesn't go loud on the pedal. The smooth ride takes about 10 minutes to bring us to the city center, where we pull into a tiny parking lot and go to the car. Uh, the reason for that, P.S., is probably be is because the last time I played this game, I streamed Katawa Shoujo for like 10 minutes, decided fuck it, and went off to scream, uh, got long live the queen, because I was like bored. <laughs> I pick up the paintings again. Looking around, it's just like any other city in Japan, really. Same style of buildings, people hurrying around here and here. Office workers sitting in their suits in the summer heat. Wide, tree-lined streets aren't exactly something you'd see anywhere, everywhere, though. Maybe they are this area is special, too. It definitely has its feel of a city, which I thought I had already forgotten. I feel immediately comfortable walking around. I haven't actually been here before. No. In that case, it's about time. It's a great city. Lots of wonderful folk around here, and most important of all, a vibrant cultural life. Ah. Oh. Say's place is just around the corner. Well, in those ten minutes, uh, Rin decided she was going to agree to the art gallery thing. How much would you I have? How much would it pay me to make a Snoop Dogg? <laughs> it's like it's the primary objective, just smoking weed every day. It's like the only option you have in the game to smoke weed. After turning around three more corners, Nomia stops. Hey, I see. Oh, this is very loud. That's rather loud. Um, alrighty then. You're following. Oh, no, oh, that right. Second account. Twitch getting hacked. And life moves on. After turning around three more corners, Nomia stops in front of a door. There's a nameplate in big red letters over it. Says, 22nd corner. Is this really the 22nd co corner? Of what? That's bothering me too. I mean, we're to start counting. In which way do you count? Well, that was the follow alert. Follower alert. When someone follows, because, you know, I asked JJ Fish. New account. I should probably go off and, like... Decrease the volume of that thing next time. Alright, I have to remind myself to do that. Rin gets worked up over the strangest things. Unlike me, Nomi ignores her completely and pushes the door open. The gallery is very clean looking, and the air condition makes it cool and very comfortable. The white walls and big windows facing into the busy street make the whole place feel airy and bright. Most of the floor space is empty, and uh, with only a few large tables and a counter for furniture. There are paintings too, of course. A poster advertises an ex exhibition for an artist I've never heard of. Most of his work seems to be portraits or landscapes in a more traditional style than Rin's abstraction. The GIF. Oh, the GIF. The GIF was from the it was from K-On. Wait, now you wait. Wait. Wait, now I search for your Euro. You now sell Euros in Euros now. Oh, right. Right, we need to put that up. Okay. There we go. 
Someone by the bell on the door, a lady who looks uh, maybe around Nomia's age, comes around, around the corner. She's dressed in a sharp suit, her straight dark hair and a perfect ponytail behind her head. Her flash expensive eyeglasses frame her eyes. Don't mind the random person in the background. On a second glance, I'm not so sure of her age anymore. She looks old and yet not actually old. Say, how do I pronounce her name? How do I pronounce this woman's name? Does anybody know? She clearly recognizes the teacher, greeting him warmly. Oh, there you are. Shinichi. Shinichi? And so quickly, I take it that these two are your students. Wait, his name's actually Shinichi? Indeed, let me introduce you. This is Rin Tezuka, the one I spoke to you about, and the healthy looking lad over there is his sound Akai. He takes a large, hard look at both of us, especially Rin. It feels like we're being evaluated, that a worth of some abstract kind is being calculated for us. Her eyes linger for a long time on Rin. Her eyes, on her eyes, are abruptly s her empty sleeves tied in knots. Her posture. I'm gonna call her Say. Say takes her first impression of Rin with an inevitable, with an intensity I have not seen used by anyone before. Once finished, she smiles amiably. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see what the wiki has to say about how you pronounce her name. How do I pronounce this woman's name? Okay. Uh, is there a pronunciation key around some of here? Uh, no, there aren't. Okay, I'm gonna call her Say. Her eyes linger for a long time on Rin. For a long, t I mean, like Rin shows like stumps, right? She can she like like shake like stubs? I don't know. Her eyes linger for a long time on Rin. On her, her eyes linger for a long time on Rin. On her eyes, her empty sleeves tied in knots. Her posture. Say takes her first impression of Rin with an intensity I've not seen used by anyone else before. Once finished, she smiles amiably. Pleased to meet both of you. My name is Say Sayanonji. Sayanonji. I'm the owner of this gallery. Actually, I think like the U.S. dollar actually became was equivalent to the euro a few weeks ago. Can I maybe offer you some tea? Oh no, thank you. We're fine. Let's get down to business. To do okay now. I lay lay the painting on a tabletop to give the gallery owner a better view, and Nomia pulls out a folder of photos. The old lady studies Rin's work carefully, absentmindedly brushing her cheek with her fingers while letting her gaze sweep over the paintings. Her eyes remind me of a bird of prey of some sort. They're so sharp and somehow very calculating. She takes her time, slowly getting over the going over the paintings in order without uttering a single word. Even the teacher looks very nervous. She tries to point out certain details and other things about Rin's work. But it seems like she's not listening. While Nomi and I keep looking at Say, sh look, trying to look for some hint of reaction in the gallery owner's face, Rin lets her gaze wander on the gallery space. Suddenly, she pipes up. Is this really the twenty-second corner? Say raises her gaze in the paintings of Rin, but doesn't matter. It's probably for the best. Um, actually, I'm not. Uh. Worse, I'm pretty sure the US dollar is significantly weaker than the British pound, though. You know, PS. You know, I suggest if they should go back to using the the pound sterling. You know, you'd make more money. She takes she takes stock of Rin's slouchy posture and her dreamy eyes that are again moving restlessly about. Color C. All right, we're calling her C. Rin seems to be detached from a situation that's supposed to be very important for her. It annoys me a little. I'm practically holding my breath here. After C has gone through all of Nomia's photos and inspected the two oil paintings they hauled here, she goes through the, all the material again, this time at a quicker pace. Finally, she gives her verdict. I like it. Though, if you don't mind me saying, you're still a bit immature. Searching for your own direction, perhaps? She picks up one of the photos. Right. 
You live in Spain now. Did you learn Spanish or something? Still, just look at this. I just can't take my take my eyes off it. Like a little kitten playing, like a little kitten playing around. That's what your art makes you feel like, young lady. I can I do not recognize that form of currency. PSS. Thank you. I think no one has ever no one has no one has ever said that before. I think. That's all Ren has to say. It's something about what the galley owner says and how she she says it makes it sound patronizing to me, but I hold my tongue. Anyway, what a wonderful imagination, though, isn't it? I've always said that Tezuka has a great eye for composition and color harmony and, and technique. Remember all those? Remember all those are done to her feet. Of course, we need to put in some of the simpler ones in display too, for the lay people, right? See, say, see. The teacher snorts dersively. Uh, uh, English is hard. Actually, Arceus Drago, uh, actually, the thing is, uh, Zimbabwe, they actually, um, they actually use the, the US dollar. Oh, all I know is speaking in Spanish how to say, oh, I like to smoke weed, and that's basically about it. I know how these, I don't know how these Philistines are. What do they understand about real art? They just be at a loss of the abstractions and themes here. But it'll generate more publicity, right? And that's good, isn't it? Say, see, smiles gently at Nomeo's remark and turns back to the paintings. I wonder. To tell you the truth, I just don't know if this, of all this, makes it exhibition. Ex, 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 exhibition. Ex, I feel like it's not how exhibition. Ex, okay, exhibition. Even if I like it, I don't get the feel of a theme of cohesion. There's no. Ugh. What is with this? Of why? What? Oh, ovary, ovah. Or d'oeuvre? And really, who would expect such from a young artist like the kid in here? Oh, no, 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 no. It's definitely doable. Especially if you get a few new peaches and touch up the old ones. Yeah, you got a Spanish American here. Uh, I don't mind painting more. I'll do anything. It's a bit of a stretch. Trust me, I wouldn't have come to you if I didn't believe Tezuka was ready. You could see it too, can't you? I know exactly what her kind is capable of, and you know too. The words give the galleryist lady a pause. A hollow, bottomless look takes over her eyes for a moment, as if she was lo she was looking through or maybe past Nomeo. She's nothing, but her mouth begins a tight, flat line as of stretch. Finally, the moment passes. Oh, crap. Pa- Oh, what? Alright. Is that what you're saying? That- That's what I'm saying. Burritos. Quesadillas. Uh, I mean, actually, no. I'm pretty sure those are a more Mexican cuisine than, uh, it's uh, sp like a uh, span cuisine Spaniards would eat, but uh, who am I to judge? C sighs and takes a few quick few steps, walking in a circle as if to help organize her thoughts. She takes another look at a photo of a painting she particularly liked, the one that made her call Rin a kitten. She places her hand over her mouth, lost for words. After a few moments, she shakes her hand. I don't know what to say. After seeing you, dear, and those paintings of you, would you excuse us for a moment? I'm just, I want to talk to your teacher in private for a bit. C draws the art teacher aside, and they talk in hushed tones for a while. You would rather be in Scotland, Ice JJ Fish. Well, Scotland. I don't have any opinion on Scotland. I can hear what they're saying, but over her shoulder I can see the lines around the corner of her mouth tighten as she motions of her hands in time with her words. Isn't Green like, like still like 
technically controlled by Iceland or something. The expression on her face is... What kind of expression is it? I couldn't say. And neither could we, because it's not on screen anymore. We. Once they're done discussing whatever they had to discuss, they give another. They give one another a serious look. I feel something that goes beyond mere words transpiring here. I know. Uh, Greenland's also a very safe to be place to be in the case of a zombie apocalypse. They walk back towards. They back. Well, they walk back back to us. C looks carefully at Rin, her left eye reaching as if instinctively towards a pack of cigarettes that's lying on the table. She picks up and extracts one, looks absent-mindedly at it, absent-mindedly as if only now realizing she did so and puts it back. Finally, she locks eyes at Rin's, evaluating her once more. All right, little kitten, I'm going to believe in you. I'll display your paintings here and here, but from what I can see, this is not enough. You don't really have a cohesive theme, and you don't have enough of the good stuff. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to work hard to actually get something so we can put it in an exhibit here. I know. It's a good thing that my gallery is so small, no? Rain already already spends pretty much every free walking moment she has painting. How is it possible to work any harder? She doesn't skip class to do it more than she already does, and how can anyone possibly work that much? Silence falls in the gallery after my words. Say, see, say, seesaw. Looks at the art teacher who is looking contemplatively at his star student. I look at all three of them, confused. It's doable. What do you mean? I mean, the school is special. The board puts great value on things such as this. I'm sure I could arrange some leaves for her. It's not unprecedented by any means. That's good for parents too, but they've been quite supportive. However, it might be a bit of a stretch to get a working space right at the school if she's not actually going to attend classes. Actually, I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about this before. Do you use the place upstairs for anything? No, I don't. I haven't since back then. It's more of an ant hill than an atelier now. Upstairs? I own a small atelier. At 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 atelier atelier atelier. I'm not okay. Okay, chat, tell me to pronounce this. Apartment in the top floor of the building, but it hasn't been in use for... Goodness, it's been so long now. Her eyes sleep to Nomeo has a strange, muted expression in his place. Indeed, do you think? Even Nomeo in all his brashness has trouble coming up straight out of... Can we start of the question? C, of course. C, of course, sees through him and throws up her hands, sighing deeply. Lily is from Greenland. Oh, okay then. I guess I can't say no, can I? Very well. I'll lend you use of that place as well, if, if needed. It's not like I really use it. She's actually hiding a dead body up there. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Don't celebrate yet. It's really a mess, so don't be shocked when you first see it. However, you can use it. You, you can use it as you see fit, since it's an atelier. It already has easels and things like that. You only need your own tools and materials, and someone to clean it up a bit. We're from Scotland, Ice JJ Fish. You're all from like what, like Edinburgh? Edinburgh. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's not ha it's not habitable anymore, so I can't let you live there. I let your school or parents to allow that in any case, though. Okay. However, it's convenient to crash overnight if necessary. I won't mind. Ah ha 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 ha! Most excellent, isn't it, Tezuka? You know, it's part of the vast feminist conspiracy. He enthusiastically pats Rin on the shoulder, laughing in relief and happiness, as if all this good fortune landed him on landed on him personally. You're from Glasgow. Okay, well that's nice to know. Say smiles as well, perhaps more amused by the old teacher's glee than anything else. Oh dear Shinichi, this is really like then back this is really like back then. I'm sure we haven't all bitten off more than we can chew. She looks at Rin, who seems to be oddly subdued despite all of this. I hope it'll be worth it, kitten. Shows at her hand as if the shake rins, but then realizes the impossibility and quickly moves to pat her on the shoulder. 
and looks back at her silently, her eyes serious and impenetrable like the dark of the night. Speaking of the dark of the night, it's the next day of Katawa Shoujo. Brin applies, Brin applies for hyphen, thanks to Nomi, a pressure in the principal, I'm sure, is granted a leave for the rest of the term for exceptional extracurricular activities. She has to make up for it during summer vacation, but it doesn't seem she minds. Brin will be able to eat and sleep at school, of course. She doesn't have to go to classes. I'm not entirely sure if I envy her or not. It makes me feel anxious somehow. It's the last day of school for Rin. I feel like I should send her off with a word of encouragement, or at least say something. It's sort of due to my influence. It's sort of due to my influence. I should dive head first into all of this, after all. Man, this this game has so many good puns. You know, there's so many puns about this game. Over my class ends a good 20 minutes early, so I walk down to the lobby and buy a can of juice, and sit on a bench and wait for Rin. I pull out a novel from my bag and search the place I was at. Time searches comfortably over the warm afternoon while I idly sip my orange juice and read a few chapters of the book. The pot doesn't seem to advance at all, but it's all the same for me. The bell rings the bell the bell rings to end the school day and the students shuffle to club meetings or outside. Nobody noticed me sitting on the bench with my nose in the novel. Well, you know, should I I Oh uh, no, this is we still have two more acts, I'm pretty sure. This is not over any time soon. You know, Ice JJ Fitch, your business is probably slow because uh, you probably should make your mixtapes in Spanish to appeal to the new demographic. I keep watch for Rin, but I don't see her familiar face or red tinted hair passing by. I check my watch 20 minutes past into class, and the lobby, the lobby is all but empty of people again. Even Rin should have managed to get out of, the cla out of class. But either I missed her by Wester walking by or she never came downstairs. Perhaps she went to the art club room for some last minute things and said I got held back by our strict homeroom teacher. I haven't really waited that long, but having grown tired of it already, I decided to go find her myself. I set my book back in the bag and threw the now empty juice can in a trash bin and then climb upstairs. The hallway is eerily quiet as there are no club rooms. Apart from the art room nearby, I checked there first, but not even the teacher is in it. Coming back towards the stairwell, I quietly knock on the door 3-4 and push the door open. Yellow sunbeams crack. Yellow sunbeams cross the classroom, falling across the floor, the dusk and chalk floating slowly in there to make the light almost palpable. How could I make Spanish mix it if I can't speak in Spanish? Well, uh... Google Translate, yes. P PSS says, like, uh, you know, or you could uh, do the tried and true, just add a, as add a la, and stick a con stick a vowel at the end of a word, and you're basically speaking Spanish. The entire room bathes in the gentle light, shining through the windows, washing the shadows nearby, oh, shadows away. Only one person is inside the classroom. Rin sits in what I assume is her seat next to the window in the third row. Her head rests against the desk. I wonder if she stepped through it all. Apparently not even Emmy had the heart or maybe the capability to wake her up. She closes the door quietly, walking past the neat, even rows of desks. I go over to where she sits. Rin? Her mouth, my mouth is suddenly so dry that the word comes out in a tiny whisper. Quien habla espanol? Says... No, no hablo. Ellos no habla, hablan espan, espanol. Got to conjugate verbs. She doesn't answer. So I set my set my bag on the floor next to her and lean over to look at her in the face. Rin's eyes are peacefully closed, with the long eyelashes projecting. Thin shadows onto her cheeks. Her mouth is slightly open, letting me hear the quiet sound of her breathing. Her unusually messy hair is even more today, lying in complete disarray over half of her face and forehead. Her bag is lying at her feet like a forgotten rag doll. A few books and pens, spens have fallen out of it near her seat. The scene makes her smile a little. 
I touch Rin's head lightly. Sweeping a few stray hairs off of her, her, her hair fur is warm against my palm. Rin stirs and I retract my hand in reflex, feeling embarrassed for touching her so casually. She looks so vulnerable, like any sleeping person. It's impossible not to feel the fa to feel fondness towards her. Okay, this is very creepy. I sit on the desktop of whoever is in front of Rin, then draw the window window slightly open to get some fresh air. Hopefully, it'll wake her up, and I won't need to resort to cruder methods. She doesn't wake up, but I really expect her to. Actually, PSS brings up a point. I might need to find someone. I might need to find someone to censor this damn scene. The war the glass is warm against my eye guys and cheek. Eyes and cheek as these windows face west towards the setting afternoon sun. That afternoon light is slowly melting into Rin's auburn hair, softening her outlines, so which she seems to be fading into her surroundings. You know, I haven't actually figured out what to do during the sex scenes in this game. I mean, technically I have them disabled, but uh, from what I'm told, it doesn't really disable them. The minutes of twitching, the minute, the min, the minute twitching of her muscles, her hair swaying in the air current, and even the rhythm of her breathing, it all gives a strong impression of a dreaming girl. Like all sleeping people, I rate 8 out of 8. Yes, I agree, I guess, JJ Fish. Like all sleeping people, Rin looks like she's away from this world in some distant dream count country. It's a very dis it's a very specific description of a sleeping person. Oh PSS, I'm 99% certain that would violate Twitch's terms of service, and uh, personally, I enjoy being able to stream my game without being taken down. And yes, our sister, because this is very good animation. With the with her, it doesn't feel so obvious that she would ever come back. She seems so detached from her surroundings even when she's awake. In fact, she has this, the same kind of air around her when the, re the realization hits my warning. Rin sometimes looks like that when she's painting. Her focused expression gives the same feeling of being on the other side of some imaginary gap as looking at her sleeping face does. I feel a pain in my chest. There's no way I can close the gap to be on the same level of her. It hurts, even though I know that it's an impossibility for any two people to truly understand each other. But Rin, she's almost literally in another world and she's talking about art, thinking about art, or making art. It's a world that I, or anyone else really, can't share with her, just like the world of the dreams. Oh, we we'll probably we'll, we'll probably get some some explicit content as I need to pull up the like. Uh, oh boy, Twitch getting hacked. All right, I'll see you momentarily, PSS. Rin Stewart is trying to stand waking up, so I'm faced with the decision to either rouse her myself or wait for her to awaken on her own. I chose the latter. Waiting is something I'm good at. I found that out during my hospitalization, but even the hospital award is more lively than, this, than the school after classes are over. The only sounds in this place is the loud ticking of the clock above the door and the distant voices of students down on the grounds. A genuine summer breeze, breeze blows inside from the inside of the window I cracked open, full of warmth and carrying the scent of light. Look outside to see where it's from, but I'm dazzled almost instantly. The window glass seems to trap all the sunlight within, making it painful to look that way. All I can all I all I can glimpse of the window are dark silhouettes of the trees and the wall around the campus. Around all the wall around the campus against the setting sun's radiance. As I turn back to watch Rin, she stirs again. A single tear worms down from the corner of her eye. So then making its way across her face before it falls under the desk. It's a barely, it's tiny, barely a droplet, but it captivates me. You can cry during your sleep? Another tear follows the first, and then a third, feeling of anxiety overcomes me, petrifying me on the spot. It's so strange, seeing Rin's, seeing, seeing Rin's face peaceful as she sleeps. 
At the same time, as tears streamed down her cheeks, wetting the wooden desktop she rests her head on. I don't know what to do, so I do nothing. Just watch the tears roll one by one down her face. Yes. Ah, uh, JJ Fish, of course, you go to McDonald's. Just make sure to, to communicate in Spanish. I don't know what to do, so I do nothing. I just watch. Oh, I already read that. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Her makes up after one final flinch, or perhaps it's because of the tears. She sits upright and yawns so excessively, it looks like her jaw might dislocate. Ah. He notices my presence, but her reaction is more like the lack of any reacting at all. It's just an acknowledgement. No sort of gasp or anything. Hello. Good morning. Just so groggy, she can't even turn my smile, and somehow I can't stretch to be entirely honest. Ah. We notice her wet cheeks and quickly wipes them on her shoulder of her shirt. It seems that she isn't surprised or flustered by them. You're crying in your sleep. A bad dream? No, it's something like that. It's something I learned, I've learned to do from other people. It's a funny story. I'll tell you later. On second thought, it's not that funny at all. I guess I won't tell you. You want something, or did you just come to watch me sleep? Er, I wanted to see you after classes. Oh well, it's after classes now, and I am seeing you right now. Yeah, I just wanted to say good luck or something. I figure that kind of makes going to be a lot of work for you. Oh, I'm sure that it'll work very well for you, Ice JJ Fish, you know. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Thanks. Rin yawns again and blinks a few times. I feel weird. Didn't really sleep much last night at all. Butterflies in your stomach? What? No, I mean, yes. I know what that means, butterflies. Don't really feel so don't really feel so good now. It'll be fine. We're so confident. Someday it'll bite you in the ear. I look forward to it. I think I have to go. Pro I promised Mr. Sinonji that I'd go the right straight after school, and now it's after school. Is it okay if I come by sometimes? I'm guessing you're planning to work long hours, so if you'd prefer to avoid some distractions. It's okay, it's not a distraction. Not like Emmy. Don't bring her with you, though. I wouldn't like like that this time. Hmm. You would look like a dipshit. Oh, I said you fish. That is a consideration you must take. I told her to stay away. I see. Alright, then. Rin stands up and silently walks to the door with me following behind. The school's empty hallways, devoid of the usual crowd of students, feel very lonely. It's only a few hours since school ended, but the building seems to be all but deserted. Our footsteps are all that intrudes upon the stillness of the hallways. The change is sudden, but it shows how the building is an empty shell, dead without its students and teachers to liven it up. Liven it up. Well, isn't that true for any building? It's like the school had become a private ward for just the two of us, a desolate place full of silence and chalk dust. I'm going to change. She says it to the blue, but we walk down from the stairs from the third floor, and it makes me wonder how she views the challenge that lies ahead of her. That's what people must do sometimes. It's the last thing we say to each other that day, even though there's so much that we could talk about. Even those words drown in an all encompassing silence. Is that pairing good to the stagnant air as though they were never said? Well, that's the end of this day. I'm surprised the act is still going, though. The next Monday is marked by a strange emptiness that grips me, caused with the knowledge I won't be able to see Rin whenever I want to anymore. This hollow feeling is a little bit discon disconcer disconcert discon. Oh. I would make it to that afternoon all the same. My last class is, in a word, terrible. It's not that the lesson is bad. It is. It's not, that, it's not that the lesson is that bad. It is, however, boring. And it's so hot in the classroom that I feel like I'm melting. The air conditioning is either broken or turned off, so the windows are opened. It makes no difference since the air outside is completely still. Only the chirping of cicadas carries inside. 
The sweltering heat perme permeates the room. Students and teachers alike are in an almost delirious state. I just want to stand up and walk out of here without caring what the teacher or anyone else says. I can't see I'm the only one with these thoughts, though, too. Next to me, Misha is shamelessly holding her skirt up a bit, fanning air in with her notebook. Only she and seems to be as cool as always, sitting, her, sitting with her back perfectly straight, arms folded in her chest, her eyes fixed on the equations scrolling to the blackboard. I keep shooting yearning glass at my watch, but it doesn't help the time go by any faster. It's funny, I remember how bad they want to go to the hospital if I go back to school. Now I get done with the, it's the upcoming summer vacation, the freedom from class and homework. Perhaps it's a human nature to think only of the situation at hand. Finally, the bell rings. Relieved, my classmates and I burst into the hallway, where I crowded by students from neighboring classes. I spot Emmy's diminutive figure nearby and walk up to her. Hey there. She smiles sweetly, clearly happy to see me. Yisao, what's up? Is your teacher, is her classroom super hot too? Yeah, it is. I thought it was gonna melt in there. Nothing else is really happening though. Feeling a bit weird now that Rin's on her great adventure or whatever you'd call it. Emma's face cracks in a wider smile and she jumps, jumps up and down enthusiastically. Isn't it great? I'm so happy for her. I bet everyone will like her paintings and she'll sell a lot of money and make piles of money. Yeah, I'm sure it'll work out great. I'm totally, I'm totally sulking at her though. She huffs angrily and places her. Can, can you, can I add you on a Bebo, JSJJ Fish? Well, I'm not aware of what Bebo is. And Arceus Drago, um, suggest what? I don't know, maybe I, I'd suggest learning Spanish, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'll um, um, you know, maybe make Spanish mixtapes or something. Why is that? She said she doesn't want me to go see her. Oh yeah, she mentioned that. And she prefers not to be distracted. I can understand that. I don't think that much of a, I don't think I'm that much of a distraction. Besides, I'm sure she'll forget all about sleeping and eating properly. This was not her telling her to do it. Add you on kick? <laughs> Sometimes she's like that. I don't I I don't know what the duck. Um I can't tell you I know what I can't tell you I know what kick is either. So she's like that. Gets completely fixed it on whatever and drops something out. It drops everything else. There is to be worried, you know. Is she gonna be alright? Such friendship. Much wow. I wonder. I wonder if she thinks I'm annoying. Pretty sure that's not the case at all. Emmy shakes her head, looking amused. I'm not sure if she's joking or not. She has these weird ideas about a lot of stuff. Things just make sense to her. In a totally different way than they do to me. I can't even imagine the weird stuff she talked to be of talked about over all this time. Is AOL still a thing? I don't think Rin does either, really. She's a type who would forget her own head if it wasn't attached to her shoulders. That's why I can't just can't leave her alone. Add you on the red tube. Okay. Alright. Alrighty then. Is this that weird? She leans against the wall, managing to look distraught, yet still cheerful as always. I get a strange feeling about it, as though I was talking to two people at the same time. How would I would know? Everyone's weird in some way. But if that's yours, it's a very nice way. I least I can understand what you're talking about, unlike Rin. Most of the time, I have no idea what's going on, her uh, going on inside her head either. Emmy nods. Emmy giggles, nodding in agreement. I think it's okay, even if you don't understand her. That's how it usually is. I may sense up straighter, brushing the hem of her skirt and strengthening the waistline. She laughs awkwardly. Ah ha ha, ah ha 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 ha. Wow. We ended up talking pretty seriously. What's up with you, Isao? Why'd you bring this up? Oh, sorry, I didn't really mean to get into this sort of discussion either. I just. I don't know. I just had this, I've had this weird feeling about Rin. 
I don't know why. I feel about guilty in bringing up something like this for no reason except my own anxiety. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. Uh, well, there was no sex, PSS. Um, yeah. Uh, Rain just kind of disappeared off the face of the planet, and here we are talking to uh, Emmy. So the Emmy clutches my wrist and twists it so she can see what time it is for my watch. Oh, damn. This late already. I should really go. There's a meeting of the rest of the track team at the field. How do you sell those mixtapes? Well, maybe you could try a... Hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, hmm. You could, uh, buy an advertisement on a local paper to sell those mixtapes. It's not going to be fun in this heap. We're going to sweat like pigs, but I promise I'd be there. Bye bye. She skips downstairs, leaving me leaving me wondering if what I said or what Rin said rather hurt her or not. Maybe what Emmy said herself hurt her the most. Come to that. So in the end, even the person closest to Rin is just far apart from her as I know everyone else. I wonder if Rin or herself ever refused that distance. Yep, basically, we touched her. We touched her we touched her hair. And then we had some conversation, and then she left. Nothing really happened. I felt like I was drifting away from the world, too, during my, during my hospitalization. I felt anxious and depressed, and even now, I sometimes, I sometimes still do. But I fight against it of all I got. If Rin had been on that side of the divide for her whole life, I can't imagine how she could not be lonely. But perhaps just truly different. I refuse to belong to the other place, but maybe she's found comfort there. Like Emmy, I have a club meeting of my own, so I head straight to the arc art club room at the end of the hallway. Only a few members are present today, so the mood's even more laid back than usual. Rin's off working in her exhibition project, but I wonder the rest was simply just playing hooky, defeated by the heat. I half acidly sketch something of a piece of graphite, but I do a rather poor job of it. My fingertips are turning pitch black from holding the graphite and smudging on the paper, accidentally and on purpose. Uh, I don't think we did the wrong path. I think this is just supposed to happen. I've improved a little bit, but Rin's level is still far beyond my reach. Eventually, Nomia comes in and makes his way around the room, checking what we're doing and giving comments about the work in progress. He stops behind me and bends closer to look at my poor sketch. Heard to take a few pointers from Tezuka, have you? Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm on Steam. I'm uh, XX360 No Scope Death Sniper XXX MLG Smoke Weed. Oh, well, I've looked at how she draws, but I haven't, ex I haven't exactly asked her advice, no. Let's see here. He casually picks up the piece of graph on my hand and literally draws some faint, barely visible lines where my sketch to illustrate places that need move improvement. Oh, yeah, you have a lot of places I need to hand you. <laughs> Ice JJ Fish. I already feel frustrated about not seeing the obvious flaws before, with a couple of careless seeming flicks of the risk. Nomi has made them plain as day. Straightening up, he throws a sideways glance at the sea where, where Rin usually sits. It's a nostalgic feeling, almost like a bird flying from the nest. I'll miss Tezuka when she graduates. It begins from here, you know. Then that makes my eyes a little misty. Do you really think do you really think she has a chance to make it to make a big make her big break of the exhibition? Nomiya turns to look up from my sketch, adjusting his glasses. He rubs his chin, looking contemplative. Why not? It's not like she's going to be an overnight smash hit or anything. Getting the word out there is very important. Connections are pure gold. Maybe the most important thing in the game if she's become an artist. Word of mouth is very powerful, powerful in these circles. She has some advantages, like her young age and technique. You know, the feet. People will naturally be curious about extraordinary things like that. Her words have an unpleasant ring to them. You know, I'll, I'll fax you. Oh, yes, I'll fax you an invite. Her words have an unpleasant ring to them. Isn't that just exploiting her disability to make her more popular? That sounds fishy. Oh, man. Man. Hisao roasting Nomia. Ah, oh, now, now. It's not like that. Think of it from another perspective. Like an artist. Would you rather Tezuka hide herself killing for a public view as if her condition was something shameful? 
Some people will call it exploitation if you promote that aspect, or discrimination if you hide it. All things considered, we're just being honest about it. Nothing wrong with that, right, my boy? I guess so. Brilliant. It's true that disabilities always have all sorts of implications in society, often nasty ones, but brushing things on the carpet won't help at all. I'm sure C will handle her side of the... Her side of the issue of delicacy. I've known her since art school, and she is most reliable. Why are you going so far, Rin's sake? Because it's you who asked? Oh, she has her own reasons, too. Trust this old man. She's more kind-hearted than she looks. Oh, sh okay. She gives me a big wink and covers his mouth with his hands as it pushes the remark back in. I remember the way the curious way Miss Sinonji looked at Rin almost the entire time during her visit to the gallery. It's like that woman was trying to imprint everything about her, about her into her memory. Maybe it's just that Rin reminded her of something else. Mostly, say, since the adores young people with a passion for art, her gallery specializes specialize in the very thing, bringing up and coming talent to public eye. It's a perfect fit for someone like Tezuka. I don't know. I don't even know if she really wants to be a career artist, though. But I guess that would be a logical step. Next step. I don't have the faintest idea. Like they say, an old a teacher can only show the door. It soon has to walk through it. An old tire saying, but it's still true. He leaves a chat with a pair of second-year girls working on some watercolors. Even though it's that cliché thing, he seems like Nomio is trying to prod me, prod Rin's with a certain door in particular. But I can't blame him for it. I literally shoved her in towards the door with my speeches about wasting opportunities and whatnot. Nomia feels like it's time to let him let Rin test her own wings. He has absolute confidence in the endeavor. I wonder why I can't shed this anxious feeling I have inside of me. It shouldn't have anything to do with me. Be I just bothered by exactly that. I really don't have any part in this. I would. I would like to be a part of Rin's life and her a part of mine. Like friends should be, that's what she called us. I wonder what she really meant. I feel like I'm so far apart from her, even when I'm not. It's the same with Rin and Emmy, I can't understand her. What am I for her? Okay, with this choice, I think I will end it off after I, conf after I f input this choice. Alright, let me consult my guide real quick. Oh, are we here to support her? Uh, okay, I'm told, okay, this choice has zero, zero effect in the game, so. Whatever, I'm gonna save real quick. And we would choose to support Ren. I think. Alright, we'll support her. Okay, and with that, I will end the stream off for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you all later. And hopefully I get back into a more regular schedule. I know I say that a lot, but uh, I will. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. Alright, we're actually done now.